Hi guys, I hope you all are doing well and welcome to the first video of this series of Azure Active Directory. In this particular video, we will be discussing what is Azure Active Directory, what are the benefits and features provided by Azure Active Directory, how Azure Active Directory is different than Active Directory domain services or on-premise Active Directory. And then I will show you how you can create Azure Active Directory tenant for your organization. If you go by definition, Azure Active Directory is a cloud-based identity and access management service. Now, when we talk about identity, it can be a user, group, device or an application and access management is what access you provide or what roles or permission you assign to the users azure active directory helps you to access office 365 services like exchange online sharepoint online microsoft teams or microsoft azure even you can deploy your own applications in azure active directory and users can access those applications. Moreover, when you are completely hosted in Office 365, that means if your users are directly provisioned in Office 365, then the authentication process or the sign-in process is also handled by Azure Active Directory. Apart from these benefits, there are other features as well. Those are provided by Azure Active Directory. You can build applications using Microsoft Identity Platform and users can sign in to these applications using their Microsoft accounts. As an application developer, you can use Azure Active Directory as a standards based approach for adding single sign on or SSO to your application. Azure Active Directory also provides APIs that can help you to build personalized application experience. With the help of business to business collaboration feature, you can securely interact with your users. Those are located outside your organization. We will talk about all these features in detail in upcoming videos, so things will be more clear. Using business to customer feature, you can allow the customers to log into your applications using their local or the social accounts. You can secure your applications and the sign in process using conditional access policies. You can register or join your devices with Azure Active Directory and you can manage them through Intune. You can use Azure Active Directory Connect to provide a single user identity for authentication and authorization to all resources. You can synchronize the on premise objects to Azure Active Directory and they can use the same password to access Office 365 services. Using Privileged Identity Management or PIM, you can manage, control and monitor the access within your organization. Azure Active Directory provides various types of reports that give you insights to the security and usage patterns in your environment. When you subscribe for an Office 365 tenant, you automatically get Azure Active Directory and you get access to all the free features of Azure Active Directory. But if you want to use more enhanced features of Azure Active Directory, then you can upgrade your subscription to either Azure AD Premium 1 or Premium 2 license. So let's understand in detail what all features are included in each type of license. Azure Active Directory free subscription provides users and groups management. It provides on-premise directory synchronization. You can run reports. You can set up self-service password change for cloud users and single sign-on for Office 365 and Azure services. With Azure AD Premium P1 license, you get all the free features of Azure AD. And in addition to the free features, P1 also lets your hybrid users access both on-premise and cloud resources. It also supports advanced administration like dynamic groups, self-service group management, Microsoft Identity Manager, and Password Writeback that allows self-service password reset for your on-premise users. With Azure AD Premium P2 license, you get all the features of free subscription and premium P1 license. 
And in addition to this, P2 license also offers conditional access policies and privileged identity management. You can also get additional feature license, for example, Azure Active Directory business to customer. Business to customer feature helps you to provide identity and access management solutions for your customer facing applications. Now let's understand the difference between Azure Active Directory and Active Directory domain services or the on premise Active Directory. In Active Directory, administrators create users manually or they can use an in house or automated provisioning system. In Azure Active Directory, we can create users manually or we can synchronize the on premise users to Office 365 using Azure AD Connect. In on premise Active Directory, we create external users manually as regular users in dedicated external AD forest. Whereas Azure Active Directory provides B2B feature through which we can manage the external identities. In on premise Active Directory, administrators add members in groups manually and then resources are assigned to the groups. But in Azure Active Directory, administrators can use a query to dynamically include users to the groups. On premise Active Directory uses either Kerberos or NTLM to validate the user's credentials. But Azure Active Directory uses cloud based authentication protocols to authenticate the users. For example, OAuth2, SAML, or WS Security. In Active Directory, passwords are managed with the help of password policies based on the password length, expiry, and complexity of the passwords. Azure Active Directory enhances the password security with the help of MFA. It also provides passwordless technology like Fido2. Moreover, Azure AD provides self-service password reset system where users can change or reset their own passwords. Active Directory doesn't support SaaS applications. If administrators want to integrate SaaS applications with on-premise AD, they need ADFS. But Azure Active Directory supports SaaS applications using OAuth2, SAML, and WS Fed protocols. In on premise Active Directory, you can join the devices to the Active Directory domain, and you can manage those devices using Group Policies or System Center Configuration Manager or SCCM. But in Azure Active Directory, you can join your devices to Azure AD, then you can implement conditional access policies or you can enroll and manage these devices using Intune. Now the question arises, which identity solution you should choose for your organization? On-premise Active Directory or Azure Active Directory? So if you are starting a new organization, you can choose Azure Active Directory because Azure Active Directory can meet all of your requirements. And if you are already using on-premise Active Directory, you can add Azure Active Directory to your environment to manage your cloud infrastructure. So now let me show you how to create Azure Active Directory tenant. To create Office 365 tenant, you can go to browser and then you can type sign up for Office 365 trial tenant. And you can click on this link that says Office 365 trial tenant. On this particular screen, it will ask you to enter your work or school email address. If you are already using Office 365 tenant, then you can add your work account. If you do not have a work account, in that case, you can enter your school account or a private account. Now on this particular screen, you will be creating the first user of your Office 365 tenant. And the first user will be the global administrator of the tenant. So here you can enter the details, for example, admin. And you can leave the last name. And here you need to type your mobile number. Next, you need to enter your company name. In my case, I will type Office 365 concepts. Then you can select your company size, how many employees you have, and then you need to select the country.
and then click next. Mm -hmm. So here I will type the one time password that is sent to my mobile phone. And click verify. Mm -hmm. On this particular screen, you need to select an initial domain for your tenant. Initial domain ends with dot on Microsoft.com. You can use this domain for your users email addresses and user principal names. But if you want to use your own domain, in that case, you need to add a domain in your tenant. But first on this screen, you need to select a name for your initial domain and keep in mind once you select this name and when you proceed with this process and this process is completed, you will not be able to change this name. So please be very careful while choosing this name. So for my tenant, I will select Office 365 CPT. Click Save. And then you need to choose a password for your admin account. And click Next. On the confirmation details page, it will ask you a few more details like your address and PIN code. So you need to enter these details as well. And once you have added the details, click on save. So now this tenant is created and now this portal is asking you to complete certain configuration like you can install office applications on your computer you can add domain you can add users or you can verify the domain as well but for now i will exit this setup and we will do these things later okay so this is office 365 tenant we successfully have created this tenant now in order to access azure active directory you will go to microsoft 365 admin center and then click azure active directory so as we discussed earlier when you create office 365 tenant you get free subscription of azure active directory with the help of free subscription you can manage users you can manage groups mm -hmm. and even you can synchronize your on-premise identities to Azure Active Directory with the help of Azure AD Connect. But if you want to use more services, more features of Azure Active Directory, in that case, you need to purchase either P1, Premium P1 or Premium P2 license. If you are using Office 365 tenant for testing environment, then you can purchase or you can go for trial subscription for premium P1 or premium P2 license and you can use all the services of Azure Active Directory. In the upcoming videos, we will be discussing all these services one by one. In the next video, I will demonstrate you how to add a custom domain in Azure Active Directory tenant and how to add company branding for your Azure Active Directory tenant sign in page. So if you have learned something new from this particular video or if you have a feedback or suggestion, please write in comments and please subscribe to the channel and share this channel within your community. Thank you guys. Thank you for your time. Take care.